Cancer, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. It's not a horoscope. No, it's an energy reading. So this is for wherever cancer energy influences your natal chart or influences your life. So you could be dealing with a cancer. Pull up a chair because this reading is, you don't want to hear it. Um, there's always an extended reading. Uh, the extended reading clarifies, articulates, and continues the energies that we pick up here. It personalizes them and gets into specifics with a full tarot card spread and also includes your romance reading for this week. So that link is below. Please do join me. There's a new cancer video that comes out every single week. So please do click subscribe and ring that bell and you'll get notified when I upload the videos. Now, we're gonna start out with a crowning energy to see basically the general overall feeling and atmosphere. We'll go into the central energy that reads out the story, the full story of what's going on, as well as really what is your staple, what is your key source of motivation right now. And then we'll end up with our um, grounding energy. So basically what's gonna save you this. For this with this energy you know what i'm saying like what's gonna hold you down so let's get into it first and foremost cancels okay oh look at you sneaking out the bat what's going on oh my god cancer okay all right i'm, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it together bumping your ass around in the dark what is happening it's like something is foggy something is hazy uh something ha it, it, you just don't see it you, you don't you don't see what's going to happen you can't see the, in the distant future you could also be dealing with an aquarius and it's not so good this is sort of bad advice bad counsel taking um taking uh, like taking advice from the wrong people or just taking, just, yeah, just taking bad advice or, or making confused decisions, being confused or making your decisions based on lies instead of what's really going on, what's really happening. This is like bumping your ass around in the dark. And I don't like this energy for you at all. Not at all. I know that I did a reading a few weeks ago about, um, I know I did a reading a few weeks ago about if you were dealing with an Aquarius. Let me tell you something. If you were, you ain't, you're not no more, or you shouldn't be, because this person does not have your best intentions. This person is, is, does not have your best intentions at heart. This person does not have um, your interests at heart, and they're not being honest. They're not telling you the truth. So why are you still dealing with them? It's almost because it's like you don't want to see the truth. There's, that's, that's what's going on. This is the crowning energy of just like, lie to me, please. Please what? Please what? Like what sensibility are you pleasing by dealing with, dealing with this person or dealing with this, this circumstance? This is, at the very least, I'm going to tell you right now, you do not have the truth. You are not dealing with the truth. You are not dealing with an honest situation. You are not in a trustworthy atmosphere. So you, so you better watch out. You are blindsided. You are in a fog right now. Now, that doesn't necessarily have to be horrible or bad. Just don't trust it. You know, don't. Mm -hmm. Cancer. There's a lot of. Time for a beginner mind. Be on the defensive. Somebody's walking in. This is Aquarius energy too. It's walking in with their guns out. Almost like a bullying. Bullying. Somebody's bullying you. Somebody's backing you into a corner. And making you do something that you don't want to do. They're really shoving you around. And this is like defensive energy, but this is defensive energy as in using your words. So maybe somebody's talking down to you. Somebody's being talking badly about you, badly about you or badly to you. Like sun's out, gun's out. This, this little fucker right here, he walks into the room with his guns out. He wants everybody to see how big, bad, and tough he is. And maybe that's your attitude. Maybe that's what's convoluted. A sense of this isn't the real you. Why are you acting so tough? Why are you acting so defensive? Why are you acting like you're big and bad when you're really not? You're scared and you're small and you're being extremely defensive right now. And the best thing for you to do is just take the armor off because it's going to get too heavy for you. And this is how we start out the reading. Uh, overcome any obstacle. You're stuck. You're belly up. 
all the defenses that you had, which is your tenacity and your heart and your spirit, they're like butts up in the air. Like they're, you, you, you're, you're, you're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck somewhere. Maybe you're stuck on somebody. Maybe you're stuck on a mindset. Maybe you feel stuck. And that's why all these defenses are up because you don't know how else to protect yourself. You really do feel vulnerable right now. Uh, love is all around. Yeah, somebody's talking shit about you. Somebody is talking shit about you or you're just feeling completely detached and stuck and away from people who really care about you. Love has done you wrong. Love has disappointed you. Love has upset you. Yeah, somebody has either dumped you or they're messing with you. They're manipulating you. They're abusing you or... Um, you don't trust love anymore. There's a sense, this is Gemini energy. So you may be hearing from a Gemini that you don't want to hear from. Some sort of air sign is wreaking havoc in your life, but for some reason you're still stuck on them, right? Every single day, you're still sort of lost trying to make excuses for their actions, trying to make excuses for their behavior. And let me say this to you, the more you make excuses for their behavior, the more you're winning the war for them. No, 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 no. Don't exert yourself. <laughs> Let me beat myself up for you and then spray you down and massage your back because it must have been so difficult for you to watch that. That's kind of the energy. That's kind of the energy that's coming through right now. And I want to be like, psh, psh, come on, man, fuck it up. We're stronger than this. We're better than this. How are you going to let people treat you like this? Like, oh. I have dog shit on the bottom of my shoe. Can I just please, like, you could be my doormat. Cancer, get up. This is not a harmonious situation. This is disharmony. This is dissonance. This is somebody who is talking shit about you. And maybe in some cases, even isolating you, trampling all over you, making you look bad. Right? Or saying things that are manipulative and, and hurtful or that keep you stuck using very harsh words and harsh communications, harsh, ac harsh accusations against you and you're just like sitting there like no they don't mean it i know where they're coming from who cares who cares i can know where you're coming from and still get out my baseball bat and smack your ass away from me like i don't care where you're coming from you don't have a right to treat me like this of course I am a cancer, so you could be getting a little too defensive. <laughs> um, and clear out the clutter. Nope. Central energy. This is what is possessing you. This is our central energy. We've reached the central energy point. Uh, uh, here we are. You're not letting go. You're holding on. You're stuck. You're like, no, 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 no. I want to go back. I want to be a tadpole. I don't want to be a frog. No, 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 no. I want to be lost in my water. I want to be lost in my emotions. I want to pretend like none of this bad shit is happening, but it is. But it is. And you are hurting yourself and exacerbating your situation by, by not, not knowing it. Not knowing it. And it's got to do with, uh, it's got to do with romance. This is not a romantic reading, but I got to say it's coming through loud and clear for you. This definitely has to do with you clinging on or holding on to feelings, making excuses for somebody who's not good to you. Gemini, Aquarius, some sort of menacing air sign in your life. Understand that. Understand that you're stuck on them and you're continuing to make excuses for your, your their actions. And inevitably you're going to have to stick up to that. You're going to have to stick up to them. You're going to have to. You're holding on. The reason why you're not is because you still harbor some emotional attachment to them. And this person is like, you're, you're allowing them to torment you. Allowing them. I swear to God, if you haven't heard from this person in a long time, I bet you're going to hear from them. And guess what? They still don't love you. They still don't respect you. They still don't deserve to have you in their life. And you're going to sit there like the moral high road and be like, oh, but I forgive them. How, forgive them for what? They didn't even ask for forgiveness. They don't give a shit. Or this is just an energy. If this isn't a specific person, this is like a mentality surrounding you of people bringing you down. 
like somebody who is sort of in charge and above it all, like, I don't mind it be like conspiracy theory. So in other words, this could be a group. This could be a group of people. We got your grounding energies coming out too. Talking, talking shit, trying to hold you down and hold you back. Trying to keep you in your tadpole stage and not let you blossom and fly. Or maybe you're feeling that way. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling restricted. You're feeling like you can't be yourself and it's making you get extra. <clears throat> so that could be those non-relationship issue things, right? This is very, like the North Node just left Cancer and went into Gemini. It's very different energy for you because it is more shallow energy and the, and the communications or are, are more short and practical and to the point. And that gets you really emotional. But guess, get, get ready for it. Next two and a half years, that's what's actually going to work for you is being able to articulate, not get lost in your emotions, but stay here, up here on the surface and just sort of use your brain and use your wits and use your words. You know what cancers have? Hold on. You know what cancers have that not many people realize? Cancerians have humor. We have this wonderful way, the smartest of cancers that you know, like who, who else? Robin Williams? Will Ferrell, Kevin Hart, there's a lot of motherfucking like major comedians that are up there up in cancer. Okay. Why? Because comedy is the best defense. Now we're very defensive creatures, but comedy is the best defense because it keeps people loving you even when you're keeping them at a distance from you. Okay. So this is a time for us to pull out our wit and our sense of humor. So if somebody's attacking you, turn it around by just like, ripping into them what, what did it used to be um what was it called um not rap battles but like um oh you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about they used to have it on mtv where you used to like insult each other like that kind of thing like turn it around on them flip 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 the script use humor it's the best way to diffuse this kind of energy. People think they're attacking you. Cancers, there's some, a place that we can go and really make fun of somebody, make them look like a fool, and even make fun of ourselves so that they can't make fun of us better. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like get the crowd on your side by making them laugh. I'm just, I'm just giving you a little advice. Um, I'm not saying let people laugh at you. I'm not saying let people make fun of you. I'm saying control the crowd. That's what I'm saying. Trust in divine detours. This is Sagittarius energy. So seven, right? The energy of seven. So making it happen by improvising. This is very improvisational energy. Don't expect too much. Don't look too far ahead. And don't try to figure everything out. Don't try to make sense of it all. Just what is happening right in front of you right now and be willing to duck and weave, man. You know, you got to be very, very um, agile with this energy and, and don't expect a lot from it and be ready to improv, but that's going to save your life. I do think that there is somebody very wily and deceptive, maybe in your midst, maybe even somebody that you think is a friend is like, diverging from that like not maybe like it's almost like um a red herring like somebody who you think you can trust but you really can't that's Sagittarius energy you are never alone so this is four plus two this is the energy of six uh, no honestly I think because this is coming out together it's like you're gonna you're gonna receive love and support in an unexpected place maybe from a Sagittarius uh, maybe just from somebody who was always sort of on the peripheral, like never, you didn't think that they were that good of a friend, but you're going to get some advice. You're going to, you're going to get advice or, um, a way through a clearing, um, or a way out. Like it's like, Shh, come this way. And you don't think you can trust them, but you can trust them. They're actually going to save you a butt. This, this is trust in the divine detours because they're, you're just going to get help. Um, in a situation, in, in, you're just going to get help from a resource that you would never expect that you would get help from. But it's coming. Sometimes life stings. Mm, hurting, suffering, sorrow. But also lessons, right? This is gadfly energy. Somebody zzz, 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 picking at you, picking at you, nagging, 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 nagging. To get you to do something. To get you to go. It's almost like somebody has just given you advice. Right? And you're like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to. 
I don't want to. Like, think about Sagittarius. Think about how Sag Sagittarius is where the South Node is. <laughs> Go low, baby. Have those friends in low places because you know they're good to have. There's a sense of Sagittarius almost coming around and telling you, you just got to tell this person the way it is. Because you know Sagittarius. You have a Sagittarius in your life. They're just going to say things exact. They don't even care. <laughs> like, like, in other words, be like a Sagittarius right now. Like, just say what's on your mind. Say it without even caring about if it's gonna hurt somebody. Because you know what? Sometimes life's gotta hurt. And this it's almost like the Sagittarius energy is coming in and be like, you better go low. You better dig in. You better tell that person exact, because look at what they're doing to you. You even know what they're talking about you? Do you even know what they're saying? You better nip that in the butt right now. Like really dig in and be like, ho? Oh? You weren't even good in bed. You sitting here trying to rip apart my character. You really have fallen asleep during the middle of sex. And that come I'm born. It's because you don't know what to do with yourself. Like literally all of those things that you didn't get to say. Because this is scorpionic energy. All those things that you buried deep to try to like keep justifying them. And make this situation that you didn't even really, that you didn't even really like. You tried to make it work for love's sake. You need to dig in and unbury those skeletons and be like that's you bitch that's you and see people don't know but cancers can do that because people be telling us all kinds of shit and then they, they piss us off and they think they're safe mm. no you're not so I'm just saying it's like time to get out your stinger okay it's time to get out your stinger in defense of your own heart. Learn from your Scorpio friends. Some people deserve pain. And then we have lay a solid foundation. Now we're going into your grounding energy. This is Virgo energy. This is something that you can rely on, something that you can depend on, but it's a new start. It's a new beginning. So get ready. In other words, you have to clear all this out and handle this in order to really start new and fresh. But that's really what you're going to get to is, is this sense of serenity and let, and start over, not with this person, but with love itself. It's like, you want a solid foundation for love. You've got to own up to a, first of all, get this person, put them back in their place. And then B, why the hell did you ever let this person get out of their place to begin with? You need a new, to reconstruct this relationship with love. I'm telling you, this is plutonic energy. Jupiter energy, right? Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Venus. Guess what's in retrograde? Venus, Jupiter, Scorpio. They, they're back to try to teach you and your punk ass. What is your relationship to love? And why do you keep letting it treat you this way? You want to let, they want you to have a really solid, healthy, strong relationship with love itself, with your ability to be loved on the up and up, wholesome. They're going to force you to confront the shit that you need to confront, to clean it all out and lay a solid foundation. That's what this is all happening for. Because your past is still haunting you. You need to muck out the swamp. You need to get to work dealing with those things that are still haunting you and influencing your future. It's almost like your past is influencing your future. It's there. And it may be there to help you. In other words, it's not there to harm you. It's there to help you see how to do things better next time. It's like, but remember that, bitch? Remember that stupid cunt you let into your life? Like, like, oh, I just said a really bad word. That was a harsh one. I don't even know if YouTube's going to trust me. Oh, I wish I could bleep that out. But there is that sense of like, remember, you need to remember in order to know how to not do it again, but you need to own it. Like, unbury those skeletons, see, see the ugly, right? So that you can build a better future by recognizing it. This is your grounding energy. And then see the big picture. This is Taurus energy, but it's also nine plus two equals 11. Awakening to the whole picture and the truth in a gentle way, in a gentle accepting way, a grounded way of saying, you know what? Now I see everything that's going on. I'm not going to deny it and I'm going to accept it, even if it hurts, because this is the only way that I can really you know, build something better next time. 
Learn from that past because it's coming back up. And you know why it's coming back up? Because you haven't dealt with it. It's still running wild. Bitch is running wild, yo. Remember that scene from 40-year-old version? Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Hold on, I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna flip the camera around. So there you go. This is it, and this is this person. This very um doesn't have good intentions, air sign. I, th I feel like it, I feel like it's an air sign. It's either, it's either Gemini or Aquarius. Could, could be Taurus, so. though. This is definitely somebody. Who does not have your best intentions at heart or a mentality that does not have your best intentions of heart at heart because it basically subverts it it, it, it su su suppresses your wisdom and your own self-respect and it's just a self-serving energy a self a self-serving energy that actually de 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 um, um, degrades the self it, it let, me, let me say that this this energy does not have good intentions for you this person does not have good intentions for you they are literally running wild all over the place all over the place and you need to nip it in the butt but you're not you're in a very weakened position now or maybe even they're holding you back they're trying to drag you back they're not allowing you to move forward or to be appreciated for all that you are they don't got no respect for you Let's, let's go dig into this with tarot because I want to know the weapons that we really need to use. But I really do think it's sticking up for yourself and talking back the way a Sagittarius would. This is help from an unexpected place. Maybe people digging up dirt for you too. Mm, I love it. It's juicy. Okay. And we're going to do your romance reading over there too, Cancer. I will see you in the extended. Link below.